don't turn off the video. Look, he knows what porn you're looking at. We all know that Santa has been keeping tabs on us for centuries using his elite network of elven spies that sit on our shelves and mock us with their cold, dead eyes. But no, no, the Santa of the digital age, he watches you through your devices. Yeah, and that's why jolly old Saint Dick can go eat it! Surf Shark is a VPN that allows you to browse the internet safely without people looking in on all your business and tracking all your personal information. So when you get that fancy new iPad from under the tree this year, make sure you download Surf Shark, or else Santa's gonna know he's always watching. Oh, and a big benefit to Surf Shark is if you want to access some geolock content, I mean, you probably know this by now, but you pop yourself over to another country using Surf Shark services and you'll be able to surf anybody's Netflix all around the world. It's pretty great. And if you use the code Four Star Bento for checkout, you can get 85% off your order, as well as a three month free trial of Surfshark services. So thank you, Surfshark, for keeping me safe from his rosy cheeks and his dead eyes. It's time to deck the halls and grab some balls. Dragon Balls, that is. <laughs> yeah. This is our first Christmas special, and I yep. remember being very excited, calling you, I think like three or four times in the row in the middle of the night while oh, you were yeah. on vacation, because it's like, I need to get this out there, I need to get this out there. And you just picked the phone up like, what? And I'm like, Christmas Tree of Might. You know, it was so interesting because, yeah, not, you did call me, it was during a fucking vacation. But honestly, I immediately loved the idea, which honestly isn't, wouldn't have been like me, I feel like, because usually I don't like to take things that are supposed to not be holiday flavored at all and then make them holiday flavored. But the more we talked about it, the more I was it, totally on board. It took a bit of convincing, but we got there. I had a lot of fun writing a bunch of the rhymes for this. And another little bit of trivia, Tree of Might is actually the first Dragon Ball thing I ever saw which, as an entry-level Dragon Ball thing, the worst. Yeah, absolutely. It requires you to know so much about Dragon Ball. I'm watching this like, okay, so that guy's the hero, but why is the bad guy also the hero? Wait a minute, why did that kid turn into a monkey? Who's this green guy? What's that old green guy about? Why is half of this movie about a kid looking at a fucking dragon? Is, is, are, is, is it his balls? I think the only other thing that would have been it would have been worse to start Dragon Ball on would have been the Garlic Jr. arc. Which is the first full arc I ever watched of the show. Because the first thing I ever saw of the actual show was Goku going Super Saiyan. Yup! My intro it is a it is a wonder to this day why this show has meant so much to me, because I have been introduced to it in the worst possible ways at every possible section. And now we're going to watch. The first movie that we did as a group, yep. not, not including Bardock. Bardock is like a special. So. Yeah, yeah, it was a TV special. It, it is so, sort of interesting. I actually did this, I can't help but feel that this, did this come before or after Bardock? I literally can't This was remember. after Bardock. Okay. This was definitely after Bardock. Uh, we just like, cause I think, was this our first db December year too? It, I don't think it was. I don't think it was. I think we just did this for Christmas. I don't think we did db December until we moved to Texas. Yeah, I don't think we did. But yeah. Uh, so, hope you're all having a happy holiday season. And now it's time to get in to the Christmas tree of might. The following is a non-profit fan-based parody. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Ball GT are all owned by... I like the Dragon Ball ornament in the background. Yeah, it was a, a very simple effect that I did, actually. It was the week before Christmas, and a pop... Hey, and of course we had to get Martin. Martin. Gohan was searching for a tree of great worth. They longed for a tree, both tall and rare. And for some unknown reason, Oolong was there. Ah! With eyes full of wonder, Everybody's so happy, and... <laughs> just that fucking outfit on Gohan. It's so cute! Story begins. All right, guys, sleep well. We have an early morning tomorrow to search for our perfect Christmas tree. Hate it. I'm sorry. I, first pause already. Mm -hmm. I am 95% certain that this shot right here, um, I actually color corrected to make it look like that it was just regular night. Because before, this shot is set against an ablazed yep. background. Yeah, you can kind of see like the yeah. the embers in the background that you kind of like froze to be stars. Yeah, this because uh, the entire thing was like, the uh, robot that came to Earth had set the uh, forest on fire, which is really funny because they restore the forest and then it immediately gets destroyed again. Yep. Um, but yeah, uh, that this 
Sorry, I just noticed, I was like, why does this look so weird? Oh, right, it's color correct. Another fun fact, this was, uh, there was, uh, back when I was doing like the Neighborhood Cluck movies, this is the one movie that we didn't quite get to because we started Team Four Star around that point. It's like, yeah, we're just gonna do this now. And there are a couple of recycled jokes from that original script in here. I cannot remember a vast majority of that original script, but Vegeta3986 was a huge fan of Turles and uh, Yamcha. And I recall there being some impossible to edit segments that he really wanted in there. I also remember there was a Fooly Cooly Mongo joke. Maybe. Probably. Hard to say, but let's Anyone continue. Anyone take care of that fire? Who long? You got that? I watched That's it. a recycled joke. <laughs> I love Wulong's face. I was. Yeah. Beautiful. Poor animals. I just Poor realized animals. this is one of the first times where I actually took lip flaps from other shots and started it like from like parts of the show, I think, actually. And I uh, transplanted them into like this, these scenes, because hmm. if I remember correctly, like a lot of these, a lot of them don't actually talk in this scene and I had to make them talk. Well, there. Your Christmas is ruined now. That's yeah, the worst part. No, we don't have our tree. I wish there was Krillin, something priorities. Do for them. Wish? I got it. We could use the Dragon Balls. Oh, the, sorry, that, that shot. Dear God, we're pausing. I'm lot. sorry, but like. Now. Yeah. Hold no, on. We don't have our tree. So I specifically. Wish there was something we could do for them. Not this wish? shot. I got it. We... This shot is from the scene because they're uh, he's wearing the same outfit that mm -hmm. he was wearing. Uh, during the uh, Space Orphans. Oh shit! That's the, the, yeah, this shot is from the Space Orphans. You can even see a little bit of like um, the, the black outline. My, yeah, and the edit on his uh, left shoulder there. Oh yeah, 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 a little bit of feathering there. Yeah, sorry, I. It's just really funny. This is from the Space I, Orphans. I never so. would have noticed that. I. Oh, I mean, I edited the. There you thing. go. You can use the Dragon Balls. Chala. We got the Dragon Balls. <laughs> Amazing how much easier this became. Right. right? And here's where we get like full on Shenron abuse. Yep. I am the eternal dragon. This is one of the first times in our show where they actually no, summoned him. Yeah. No way. No, not you again. Has it even been a year? In it's the movies, no. Year, two months, and fifteen. Shut the hell up. Oh, mighty Shenron. We called you to help us in this orphans. dire time. As you can see, I think this is the only other shot with Icarus in it. Trees and life has been burned right up the there. Ground. So he wouldn't have been in there if it were up to me. Desolated forest. Hell no! I want a Christmas tree! Yeah! You want and here's where we kind of turn Shenron into like the villain of a lot of the movies. <laughs> Just like, tree. fuck it. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, okay. I, I love I do love I'll this give joke. You give you the best tree you've ever seen. <laughs> Monkey paw Shenron at his finest. More uh, another edit, by the way. Thank you! Oh, don't thank me. Tis the season of giving. Which I like this. Instead of using like a little probe droid Early that they did, like, hey! Our navigation system just changed course. We're on route to I believe that's Tomamoto, Josh I believe Tomar. you are correct. Does it contain a sufficient amount of joy? According to our senses, yes. Well then. Merry Christmas. And, and muting everything. Yeah, you have to mute this part. Ba -da -da -da. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell. Rock the dragon, dragon ball Z. This might be our most copyright stricken video of all oh, yeah. time. You are not allowed to go camping again, young man. Oh, oh Goku. Goku. I love Goku just singing Christmas carols in the background while they're arguing. I it's, He's just so innocent. He's just like, I just want to have fun, guys. It's honestly, Christmas. making Goku this big Christmas fan is one of my favorite, like, small things that we ended up doing. with because he's very like Peter Pan-like. He, he has, like, such an inner child because he's so innocent. Yeah. I don't care whose fault it is, you need to be responsible. Remember, if you don't act like a good little boy, Santa won't bring you any presents this year. Goku, stop that or I will deck you in the halls! Okay. Okay. He's just gonna bring me books again. He brings you what you like. And what do you like? like? My books. You see? see? He, he brings, brings you what you like. like. Well, what am I getting for Christmas? <laughs> the same thing as last year, Goku. Oh, so that thing you do with your mouth? Not a friend of Gohan! Mouth present! Further evidence that Goku has had sex and knows what sex is. Some people seem to think that he didn't know, which, I mean, is funny in its own right, but raises way too many questions. Yeah. 
Bad, more muting. Yep. Maybe, I don't know if the sticker claimed. Hard to say. Poir, the only gift they need is the gift of Yamcha. That's a non-refundable gift, isn't it? Just like this car. No! Also, a small thing. So, damn it, I gotta pause earlier. Fucking damn it. A non-refundable gift, isn't it? Just like this car. Okay, so, see the explosion right there? Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you, yes, that'll be very helpful. All right, so, um, I started doing something around this time where I wanted to play with, a little bit with the colors. Do you see how um, the light, the it, like there's I, a certain I see, I see the out, I see the outline, the glow. Yeah, I started messing around with the color keys a little bit. On some of the explosions, just because I wanted to mess around, um, I ended up like kind of blowing out the colors a little mm -hmm. to kind of add a little bit to the explosion effect. It, I don't know why I was doing it. It was a, during a time I was still learning Premiere. So through a lot of like season two, yeah, you see stuff like that from here here and there. I, again, I don't know Just, why. Just the little nitty gritties. Yeah. Bye, Yamcha. It is time. Plant the tree. Oh, yeah, and there's Kai music. The original Kai music of before Mike. it got replaced because that guy's a thief. The Christmas tree of Mike. Oh. Title drop. Title drop. Now. Oh, right, I'm both Jinga and Badu. Yeah. That was fun coming up with the like uh, Christmas name puns. I loved that. The the dude getting out of the car is the best bit there. That edit was one of the first times I ever looked at something and really wrestled with myself. Is this fucking worth it? And you I, know I, had, I had to convince you, yes. I, I, I once, don't you, even, once you showed that to me, yeah. I'm like, yes! Yeah, I, I that because that was done in the editing. C certain jokes that uh, happen in the show happen in the editing mm -hmm. process. They aren't in the script. They're just me thinking, just you know what, why not? All, all the vi uh, Most of the visual gags are done in the edit. Yeah. And there, there are some where, like in Lord Slug, him getting beaten off the roof every now and again, like that. That was in the script, but yeah, yeah, that one, that that one was in the script. But the car landing on the kid was just me, like I can do this. I know I can. All right, now let's see if we can get through this movie in like an hour. <laughs> sorry. So yeah. Not sorry. Um, I'm gonna have to crash with you guys for a while. <laughs> crash. Like, like your, your car. car. Yes, Goku. Like my car. I can't believe the wreckage landed on your house. Neither can I. <laughs> Just the most Just unfortunate Yamcha. Car, I'm pretty much destitute. You know, studies say that depression hits worse during the holiday season. Not That's true. Suicide by the way. rates are so high. <laughs> <laughs> like your car. Laughing at Yamcha because I'm always up for that. Kid Kai, is that you? I just wanted to call you up and wish you a Merry Christmas. Aw, oh, shucks, King Kai. You too. Yeah, also thought I'd tell you about the evil space pirates who are killing your planet. Based on the what now? You see, a group of space pirates have sought out your planet, and with it are growing... Space pirates evil, is just kind of like the go-to for like Dragon Ball. It's like, hey, there's space bad guys. By the way, I do love some of the imagery planet. in this movie. This is... that's sick. Mm -hmm. That's Disney evil. <gasps> Well, that's all from here. Gonna... Something be... that's just completely aged perfectly well with age. And also, the that time. became that. You know how you have a bunch of things that you're quote that you quote at conventions. That's Disney Evil became a mainstay that's for Moscow Disney at conventions. Evil. Yeah, until Muffin Button. Yeah. Spike the eggnog and watch Gregory get smashed. Merry Christmas. You know he means all with right, the hammer. Guys, group yep. Meeting. So. It turns out someone just planted a gigantic tree. Hooray! My tree! That is sucking the Christmas joy out of the entire world. I mean, oh no! Who, Who would be so dastardly? So, my plan is we get the Dragon Balls and wish it away. Um. I'm kidding. <laughs> We're gonna go blow it up. <laughs> Didn't work. <laughs> if we don't act soon. Oh yeah, the cut in here. About this. Forever. Wait a minute, <laughs> Tien, Chaozu, what are you two doing here? Are you Jewish? Hey, I'm just trying to be culturally sensitive. You boomist ass. So this <laughs> there's a little bit of a background yeah, uh, behind this. Um, the voice actor for Ten Shin Han, Mark Soskin, is Jewish, um, and you know. We thought Ten just, Shin Han is already like kind of outside of the group a lot of the time. We we started writing Tien just to be more and more like Gon, which is why he had a uh, a, a fantasy battle ball team as well. <laughs> yes, later on he mentions his fantasy battle ball team, and when he was recording it, Mark was like, 
you really just wrote Ten Shin Han to be me, didn't you? And I'm yeah, like, look, pretty okay? much. Okay, it just works. It just works. Because he, he is just so too. plain faced. The only course of action left is to reason with it. Uh, Goku. Big tree. If you don't leave right now, I'm gonna have that to is a big fucking tree. Goku, trees can't talk. Why don't you come up here and try it? You know what? Hit. I don't care anymore. <laughs> it's kind of sad. This movie had such potential with the idea that there were minions for the other people to fight, but it just turns into Goku fighting them all. By the way, that's Purple Eyes. Uh, he mm -hmm. used to make a bunch of... Uh, just if if you've seen I'm at soup. Yeah, oh yeah, he made I'm at soup. I'm at soup. What do you mean you're at soup? I mean I'm at soup. What store are you in? I'm at the soup store. Why are you buying clothes at the soup store? Fuck you. One of the funniest gags I've seen in my entire fucking life. That uh, is ch check out Code Ment. Uh what what is his like One Piece? Yeah, he did One Piece Ment. Uh, uh, they were all called Ment and yeah. they were they're bizarre, he's, weird, crazy. He is, he's just a fantastic comedic talent. Yeah. Look up his shit. He's awesome. All love. Hope for a second. But now Turles has given us a new chance at life and, and at revenge. revenge. They were so much fun to play, I won't lie. Place. Some of us did things. Terrible things. Things that some of us regret and some of us don't. Take me, for example. I was but a humble mall Santa trying to bring children joy. So what happened? Well, a young child asked me for a fire truck. Aww. So I dropped one in his house. Aww. Then there was my brother and I. We were once elves working at Santa's workshop. Which actually we works for what we would eventually do with Santa. <laughs> yeah. Die! Yikes. Wait a minute, that doesn't cover you. What'd you do? Something so evil, I am forever on Santa's naughty This is not, this is so unnecessarily dark. Very dark. Rudolph. God damn. Run, Chopper! Run! <laughs> no! Dibs on not fighting that guy. We have to save Christmas, guys. Let's go! More Christmas music! Yeah, yeah I don't know if this one's gonna have to be... <laughs> Jinga and better. Jingle Bell, right? No, Jinga and better. No... Jingle... Bell. Jingle Man, without that episode uh, you know, 16 ender, like yeah, that joke doesn't just doesn't play as hard. Once. I know, right? Boss, he was a cancer patient. Ask me if I can get rid of his cancer. Oh God, this is going exactly where I think it is, isn't it? So I blew him up. No more cancer. God, Very you're pragmatic. The worst mall Santas ever. Right behind those ones that molest kids. So, so I am the worst mall Santa. <laughs> Jesus, oh, I know. <laughs> they, we went so dark with them. The ah yes. I had fun writing that song. Yeah, by the way, we actually have a bunch of Dragon Ball themed, uh, uh, Dragon a, Ball a few, a few of them are specifically on my channel just cause I didn't like, for some reason we decided not to post them on the main channel. Yamcha yeah. the Scarface Bandit and the 12 Days of Dragon Ballness or whatever. I think, I think, didn't we make a video that advertised Possibly. them for, to be listened to on SoundCloud or something? But, but, the, but, they're, but they're around and I have them on, at the very least, my channel where yeah. you can find Yamcha the Scarface Bandit. So there are a bunch of Dragon Ball themed uh, Christmas jingles. Bandit, always beaten by his foes. And if you've seen this guy fight, you would even say he blows. Agreed. Claus lover. Oh, don't I, e I don't even celebrate Christmas. <laughs> and the funny part is, Corinne is also half Jewish. Yep. <laughs> who plays who plays Jounsu. Did I just smash the Krampus? Oh well. Where are the others? If I don't find them soon. It's gonna be too late to go caroling. Oh, so hey, innocent. Dad, what's with the get up? It's not Halloween, it's Christmas. Christmas? It's a very Goku thing to say. I mm -hmm. hate Christmas. You're not my dad. Instantly I knows. I hate gingerbread houses. <laughs> the music, by the way, is from um, Batman, the animated I hate series. and all of the good girls and boys. I hate the who's down in Whoville. I remember writing all, all of these uh, rhyming lines. And flumpets and go back for bras. I hate carols and sleigh rides and fa la 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 la's. 
but above, but above all, all else, else, I hate, hate Santa, Santa Claus. Claus. Don't talk shit about Santa! Santa! You're saying, aren't you? How lucky you were to never suffer my injustice. Here's the birth of Frieza Day, too, also. Yep. However, after my tree is done with this planet, you'll be left with no, no L to speak of. <laughs> that is such a bad pun, and I'm so proud. Bitch, you look like Goku. And you look like a Yoshi. I get Soldier does, Boy. Does anybody get that reference nowadays? Does anybody get the reference that's coming up? Probably not. Harry Partridge. Now hand over the kid. Oh, you want this kid? I want him. Oh my god. I want yeah. Him. You want this kid? I want him. You want, you want? I want that cake! <laughs> oh. Merry Christmas. That face. <laughs> That's so Is cute. Immediately yeah, disregard Piccolo. Right now, how about I show you a little trick I learned? If I put pressure down on this part of your back, your tail grows back. Somebody pointed out, actually, in uh, the season one finale that, like, when Gohan gets smacked back, he does hit his lower back on a rock, so maybe that's what popped his tail out because of Turla's logic. I don't see the power. Gohan! Aw, man. If Chi Chi finds out about this, they might not get mouth present. Priorities! Yeah, right? Son against father. Father against son in a battle to the death. No, just skip all the nonsense. I love how everybody knows how to do the key ends on. By the way, I censored his his, his, his junk. crotch with mistletoe. Yep. It's okay, Gohan. You're safe. Now go to sleep. And in the morning, Santa will have brought all of your presents. And by presents, mm -hmm. I, I mean books. books. Dang it. Savor this moment, Kakarot. It will be the last one you ever have with your son. <sighs> he knows my Saiyan name. So you must be Vegeta. Wait, you think <laughs> I'm... Silly Vegeta. <laughs> it's not Halloween. It's, it's Christmas. Christmas. Take that costume off. I'm not Vegeta. I'm just another Saiyan who escaped the destruction of our planet. Oh. Man, that means he's like an evil, evil me. me. Only he doesn't have a goatee. I'm gonna imagine one. So, so evil. Uh. Now it's just down to that you. That cut is so weird. Yeah. Me and you. Oh, and my five misfit minions. But what about my friends? We all had eggnog and Christmas fudge. Really? Nope. Wasted them like figgy pudding. You never, never waste figgy, figgy pudding. pudding. <laughs> Droid. By the way, the lip sync on you never waste figgy pudding was a miracle that it actually worked out like that huh. because I didn't I, I didn't edit it almost at all and that would have been very hard. I'm sorry. I just remembered that point. I'm like, oh my god, that just fits. Also, god damn it. Why did they introduce all these minions? Nobody gets a fight. Goku wastes them all. Yeah. I hate these movies sometimes. Like they kind of got a fight, but none of them got any like... One Piece would actually do that a lot better. I heard was look at me. I hate Christmas because I'm a big jerk. <laughs> and who wouldn't be a big jerk after the injustices I suffered? On planet Vegeta, we heard all about all the other planets that Santa would visit. We heard of the joy he brought children, of the presents, of the merriment that I was denied. Planet Vegeta never got Christmas. No, all we got was Frieza Day. Happy Frieza well, Day. What's Happy get Frieza, for Frieza Day. Day. He blew our planet up. Oh, that's sad. But I still can't let you steal the joy from Earth! Hold that thought, tree's done. What? <laughs> See, these fruit hold all the joy from Earth. When I eat it, I will gain Earth's joy. Why are you so evil? Deal with it. Turles ate of the fruit, and so they say... His, his power, power level grew three, three sizes, sizes that day. day. Jacked! Yeah. Fuck, I love, uh... Oh, this band, I can't remember the name. Uh, Trans-Siberian Orchestra? Now, Thank you. Denounce your faith! N no! Denounce your faith in Santa Claus! Never! Well then, bah humbug. I, I love making silly phrases into badass quotes. Well, now that that's over, time to plan a bitchin' New Year's party. Also, like, just replacing random, like, replace power level no. with joy. Yeah. And just... Christmas can't be ruined. Must summon up energy. Goku. <gasps> Could it be? The anointed saint, the spreader of love and peace. Oh, wow. It's 
Yes, it is I. Kyle A. Bear? Oh, Kyle A. Bear! You must defeat him, Goku. You are the only one who can. But he's got all of Earth's joy. He's too powerful. No, Goku. The joy is, is within, within your heart. heart. <gasps> You're right. Now kick his ass to the North Pole and back. Yes, Santa. What the hell? What is this sudden burst of joy? All oh, this, this joy! joy. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. Also, fucking, uh... Melon Farmer? Yeah. No. So much joy. And the fact that it explodes and it turns into snow. Yep. Like, some things you don't really plan, but it just kind of works out. Speaking of more music that has to be muted. It's yellow. Oh, the weather outside is frightful. But the fire is so delightful. And since there's no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You would have happily shared our Christmas with him. You know, the sad part is, I always tried to visit Planet Vegeta. Problem was, they kept trying to shoot down my sled. We call that back later. Yep, I. I'm off to oh. deliver my presents, but thank you for saving Christmas. Anytime, Santa. Bye. Ho, 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 ho. Merry Bye, Santa Kyle. Santa Bear. Santa Hey Bear. Wait a second. If that guy wasn't Vegeta. Where is Vegeta? Fun fact, the snow that's coming down around him mm -hmm. is actually uh, cut out of a different scene. Oh. Yeah, there, uh, there is no shot of Goku with it just falling down around him. Luckily, there is a shot of that stuff falling around him against a black screen. So I was able to just color key out the black and let the snow fall. But let's see where Vegeta is. Turns out he's still on Namek. Yep. This is so non-canon it hurts. Vegeta. Oh, here's more ghost snapping. Tonight you will be haunted by three Oh, this bit. And they're all me. I. God damn it, I hate Christmas. <laughs> yeah! yeah! More music that has to be muted! Merry, Merry, Merry winter, everyone! Ah. Oh. Uh, yeah. Goku got a Kentako hut from Santa. Also, something else from Chi Chi. Oral sex. Chi Chi got a GPS to keep track of Gohan That's and some mouthwash. <laughs> Gohan got books. Yep. He also got a flying dragon. But due to it being non-canon, he was He's not allowed to keep it. Krillin got a new shaver. He also got a girlfriend. Due to her being non-canon, <laughs> not allowed to keep her. <laughs> I'm, I, I look so forward to getting to that episode. Me That's too. one of my favorite episodes we've written. Years worth of free, free gasoline. gasoline. <laughs> Had Chinese and watched a movie. They saw Yogi Bear 3D dated. Yep. It's no longer allowed to pick the movies. Got oh. a new wardrobe. She has so many wardrobes. Oh. Good for Oolong. Shenron got a, a restraining, restraining order. order. Yep. And there, there we, go. we go. That yeah. is the Christmas Tree of Might. Oh my god, uh, that was that uh, Honestly, I was I was fearing that would have aged more poorly, but it, in general Honestly, I think it's one of the ones that has aged the most to me. Oh yeah. Cause, Cause I don't look back this isn't one of the movies I go back and rewatch of ours ever. Uh I do think we nailed the next Christmas special we would do. Oh yeah, are you kidding me? Plan to eradicate Christmas is one of my the favorite my one of my favorite things like we've made, actually. A couple of jokes in there are some of my favorites. But we'll have to get to that one next Christmas on this thing that we're doing on Christmas. Merry holidays and happy Christmas. Now check your stockings. Oh. What the hell? Or do we actually Wait, have these been here the entire time? I'm not even kidding. Yeah, they've been there. I got nothing. Oh. Is it cuz I'm gay? Is it cuz I'm white? <laughs> Y'all guessed it! 